Welcome and welcome back guys to uh, another tutorial. In this one, what we're going to be doing is focusing on two things. Creating custom particles, particle effects for sort of game art in my example. And we are going to be looking at PNG sequences and how they can be used in After Effects as well. So, as a short example, this is what I'm going for. So right here, got a few love hearts. Um, just coming out and they're being spawned from a particle emitter and we're going to explode those and we'll be able to use those um, in our game in a game so let's just jump straight into sketchbook so all i'm going to do is i'm quickly going to grab a nice red and make a heart so we are approaching Valentine's Day and whatnot, so I thought I'd do something heart related. Plus that, and I think I might. I think I'm interested in the new Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. That looks pretty nice. So just real quickly, just coloring in my heart. I want to get rid of this line around here as well. You probably would not notice it in reality. You probably would not notice this line in reality because the particles are going to be quite small, but. This would be easy with a graphics app or something, but more or less I'll do. Cool, make sure you hide that background layer, and I'm going to save this as a PNG. Um, I'm going to call it Heart. Make sure it's saved as a PNG. Cool, hit save. So what PNG is going to do is it's going to allow us to this checkerboard area, keep that as invisible, as transparent. So let's jump across into After Effects. So here, what I've done is just all I've done is just made a scene for some action to take place. I'll uh, hit play just so you can sort of see it. And we've got a swinging hammer. Not much, just a bit of level. Art is taken from... Um, one of our old games called Feebo, which I was always quite fond of. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is import a character. I'm just going to import my character, which is this guy. And before I hit OK, what I want you to notice is this PNG sequence icon. PNG sequence icon. And if I tick that, it means all these are going to come through as one. Quick note, if you see here it says multiple sequence, um, then you've got a problem with your naming convention. You notice how the naming convention here is solid, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 blah. If that was like walk 1, 0, 2, walk, walk with no caps, um, then it wouldn't really recognize it very well. But because the naming convention is solid, we can take PNG sequence. Excellent, our PNG sequence has come through, we can get rid of it, and you'll notice that it's got multiple images. That means it's it's sort of best to think of this like a GIF. Let me just drag and drop this here now, and press play, and you see how, just for that second, he walked. Um, that's playing a sequence through. We need this to almost go on continuously. So what we do is we right click this and we find interpret footage. In there, there's going to be an option called main. And we have a whole host of options. I'm going to go down here. This is the first one I want to check out. Loops. I want this to play 100 times. So again, like a GIF, just it's going to play sequentially. Um, and at the moment, we're on 30 frames per second, but it was more designed for like... 12 to 24 frames per second. So now if I drag and drop my geezer over here and press play, he walks on the spot continuously. See how that's looping? Really cool. I'm just going to scale him up a bit, a bit more for some drama. Excellent. Um, and let's throw a bit of positional action down on him. So start time, be over here, after about two seconds, be, hold shift while you drag, be about over here. In fact, let's pull this 
favorite part, so it doesn't work in past that. Drag this a bit more left, maybe as well. And around here, actually, we're going to set a keyframe, delete this one because in a second he is going to go flying. Oops, this is the one we want to affect. Just give this a bit of life as well. Why won't you pull out two arms? There we go. So let's see how that looks. Work, work, work. Ugh. Needs to be so much quicker than that. <laughs> nice. Let me actually just knock him all the way off screen. Alright, so with that set up, we've imported a PNG sequence and he gets knocked away. But this is where we're going to create our particle effect. So let's import that picture that we drew earlier, which I believe I saved in here. Yeah, it's in my recents. So I'm just going to drag and drop my heart in there. And that'll come through all good and ready. Um, so let's click and drag and drop it down here. And in fact, we'll bring it up to the top just so we can see it. And where are you? You are all the way up here. So as a heart, as you can see, it's really big and whatnot. We're going to duplicate it and hide the bottom layer just in case we need to come back or when we can change them. We won't have a base layer to pull from. So in here, with your top left selected, we're going to go to Effects, and we're going to go to Simulation. So I mean, this is important. I know you can use like trap code and stuff like that to do a really good job with this, but let's face it, trap code is expensive and not for everyone, especially if you're learning. So we're going to use Particle World, CC Particle World. And you'll see it just creates our generic particles. What we want is to go down to Particle, this is what's been spawned, this is what's been created, so we're going to go Textured Square. Textured Square, drop into the Texture option, and I want you to choose the Heart option, where to. And now, let's have a look. As you can see, it's spawning lots of our little hearts. How pretty. But we're just going to tweak and change those bits, so like bump up that birth size. Drop that depth size. If I bump up the depth size, maybe a bit more. Um, more size variation. Mm, yeah, why not? Looks pretty cool. And at this point, you know, you just so want to play with it. See what's going to work for you and your particles. I'm going to give that a birth rate of two, and I want to inspect the physics. Let's go for jet sideways because it's going to come off it quite thick. Bring in, bring them in quite close to each other. We want it right when we get hit. And right now we'll use explosive. Give it a bit of range. Drop the gravity because we want these to go up. And let's see how that looks. That's pretty cool. We are spawning a lot though. So I'm going to drop this down to 0 0.1. 0 0.1. And again, play with like 
any sort of effects you want to play with, you know, see what's going to look good for yours. Um, yeah, that should be pretty good. And what we're going to do is we want to sort of keyframe this. So I'm just going to press my stopwatch and then I'm going to come down here and press U because I like to work in my timeline. So I'm going to bring that forward and drop this down to zero. So none has spawned. Where's our first one spawned? Spawn about there. So we're going to have to bring these back a bit. And again, hold that keyframe and drop it back down to zero. Might even set this to 0 0.2 just for a minute. Just so we can get a nice bunch of them. And let's see how that looks. Uh, I feel like they come in a bit too soon. I mean, I suppose for now, the time doesn't really matter because when you put these in the engine, you just define define it to start then. That's pretty cool. And we're just going to tweak the velocity a bit more, maybe give it a bit more gravity. Just so it looks like it's flying a bit further. Yes, I am happy with that. So what we've done there is we've used the PNG sequence to make our character look like he's walking. And then we've created a custom image, which you now was our particle. And we've loaded that in as a textured thing, as a textured square. And we've set it up. So now we sort of want to just almost export that by itself. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to, I mean, I'll save it at this point because it's always good just in case I make any mistakes. And I'm going to delete everything else that I do not need. Set my background to checkered. Pull my loop points in. Now these loop points are, it will only render out, it will only render out what is in those points. So. It's only going to render out this small amount of time. Um, what we're going to need to do, annoyingly, is set this up roughly in the middle. Press Control K, and let's bring this down a lot. Until roughly we've just got the area we want. Because if we print these out like onto a sprite sheet, or even as a PNG sequence, which is what we're going to do, we're going to end up with a lot of wasted dead space. So just yeah, play with these numbers until you think it's going to be roughly alright. Cool. And let's have a look. Are we alright? I'm going to drag that to the right a little more. I mean, we've still got a lot more space we can pull down. There we go, that's cool. And let's add this to the render queue. Now you're in composition, add to render queue, or control M. And we're going to choose in here a PNG sequence. PNG sequence. Now this part's the important part because we want the transparency. Make sure you go into your channels and select RGB and alpha and alpha. That one's the important one. Hit OK. Choose where we want to save that to. And that will render out. Just um, is the images that you've created as a series. It'll be a series of singular images. Looking at that, it's going to be quite a lot, depending on your frames per second, as an odd frames per second. But like, if you wanted less, like say if you were using Game Maker, um, less frames per second would you know, create less PNG images, um, and that way you're trying to render less 
you know, the game engine is trying to load and produce um, those images slower and it'll be a bit, hand, a bit better to handle it. But more or less, yeah, with the PNG sequence, we are good to go. And we've created particle effects for our character. It's going to be a nice little hit. Again, maybe I was just thinking of Dino the New Zelda and um, Valentine's Day. But who doesn't like hearts coming off something when they get hit? Cool. Thanks for watching, guys.